Hi guys, my name is Martin Smoker, and I'm a former engineer that works at Truck Control Systems, and I am uh, honored to uh, present to you and kind of discuss uh, one of the new technologies that we are uh, partnered with with ADI called WBMS with the product called Red WBMS. And uh, basically, the, my title is like, what is this wireless BMS system, this new technology for electric vehicles, and how can you monitor that data? So before we start talking about WBMS, I kind of want to go and talk about just BMS itself. So what does BMS mean? BMS, BMS is an acronym for Battery Management System. And the several of the main functionalities of BMS is that you could do battery cell protection, battery cell monitoring, and battery cell optimization. And there's also different uh, topologies you can have structure your, the, the BMS, which is decentralized, distributed, or modular. As far as for EV, uh, for electric vehicles, we, they use the mod of the distributed uh, topology. So that means that there's there is a, a main there's a main controller that communicates to the rest of the uh, rest of the packs that have their own uh, battery monitor battery management system or monitoring system. So what kind of data could you get from EMS? Well, from a monitoring standpoint, you get you can you can get. Uh, from both for voltages, you can get the total cell, the total voltages, and cell voltages. For to get the total voltages, just basically because all the cells are in series each other, you just add all the cell voltages together, and that's how you get the total voltage. There's also temperature, so you can just get the average temperature of of the, of the entire pack itself. You can also get the temperature if you're if the system is using some sort of coolant, you get the uh, coolant intake temperature, and then you also get individual cell temperatures based on how the system is. You can also get data from the cooling system itself, as in depending, like as I said before, how the uh, the BMS system is uh, is set up. That if it needs to be cooled by by air or some sort of coolant, you can get data from the cool system based on uh, what what those values are, and also you can get the the current in and current out from the BMS system. But from a compute from a computation point of view, you also get uh, voltage minimax well voltages. You also get the state of charge, which is basically determines the current charge of the battery. You also get the state of health, which uh, is basically just a percentage based on uh, what how 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 big the capacity of the battery is now compared to what was originally uh, compared to what was originally. There's also a state of power, which is determined by by several variables, like the temperature, temperature cell, which basically the, the environmental. Uh, values based on how much power the battery can give out. So uh, you can also get a return of uh, impedance, uh, number of cycles that the, the uh, number of cycles of the battery that goes on and off either from last charge, last, uh, last charge, or from just from the from the first use. Uh, how store uh, store charge of how uh, what is the current charge of the uh, individual cells of uh, the energy delivered from from. Uh, and the amount of energy delivered from last charge or from first use. But in particular, what is ADI, Analog Devices uh, WBMS system? Well, it's another acronym, but it's just, it's the same acronym from BMS, but with the W tag from it. So it's, and it's, that W stands for wireless BMS. That means no wire harnesses and also means less components. Uh, the, this particular uh, WBMS was designed to satisfy the automotive auto requirements as in the need to have have high reliability and also low latency for for automobile. And essentially, this the system. The system just comes down to uh, basically it's it's just so, it's, uh, socks communicating at two point four gigahertz uh, ISN band, which uh, SOX stands for system on chip. And it's between the battery cell monitoring chip, which is your node, to the battery management system control, which is essentially the manager. Man is the manager to node communication. So what are the what are the benefits of using uh, of uh, w, using the WBMS in replace of just a regular BMS system with wires? Well, if it means that there's no there's no uh, no no harnesses because you don't need to have uh, attached to your uh, ISOS five four to your individual packs. The packs are simpler because of not having those uh, uh, because of not having those uh, those wire harnesses. It's also uh, you also optimize the range. Optimize the range. It's a very, it's a reasonable design to use across all platforms. Design flexibility. Uh, you get, you can, uh, energy density. As in, without those wire harnesses, you make your battery size bigger, and 
uh, it also lowers the cost because again, no, uh, because there's no need for harnesses or you know, the top of uh, the top of more modules to communicate to the uh, ISO, the ISO slide. So this kind of this a uh, uh, these graphics are from ABI's uh, website, basically comparing between a wired and ABI specifically wireless BMS networks. You see on the left that. Uh, those uh, both of the modules are essentially the the bad the like the the, uh, the battery packs uh, the bad the batteries and the battery pack and the battery the big battery pack communicate to that has its own uh, analog analog uh, like analog sense harness connected to that uh, the CMC which in turn puts that data to communicate to the main the main uh, BMS chip. And that, that means that you have to have for, for that system work, you have 12 modules of the 24, uh, 24 harnesses, 48, uh, you know, basically 40 connector pairs, and also the 12 uh, CNCs that puts that, that they will put that data to the ISIS fibers. But compared to uh, ADI's WBMS, the, you, don't, you don't need any of the harnesses, don't need any of the connector pairs, you don't need any of the CNCs. It's just essentially just 12 w, uh, ADI WBS nodes. All connected wirelessly to one wireless manager. So one wireless manager that talks to a WBMS microprocessor, and that that is able to that that, that able to talk to you get your uh, your, uh, your data. So on top of that, so what uh, you know what other data do you get from WBMS? So already it's because it's a it's a battery management system uh, network, you already get the, the monitoring uh, the monitoring values, which is your voltage, temperature. Uh, current, but they also get the computer modules like state of charge, state of health, etc. Uh, you also get some because it's a network. You also get some uh, network metadata, such as, uh, for example, the, the uh, re received signal strength indicator, uh, the signal strength of the node to the manager, uh, PDR, which stands for the pedestrian directing, but basically tell you get the idea of the distance between the node and the manager, and also the past stability of the node uh, of, of the node packets going from the node to the managers. So that's a lot of data coming in from wireless BMS. We partnered with ADI called uh, Rad WBMS. It is basically we're presenting a solution for uh, how the way to monitor your ADI WBMS uh, signals. So the Rad WBMS has two ADI WBMS radios, which essentially are the two managers on there. Uh, and also it has two ISO spy uh, channels. They can now they can, now they can connect to the uh, internal managers on the red WBMS, but you also could connect to a external external managers, uh, external managers of OEM specific. I can I'll go into that later. It also has two dual wire CAN uh, CANFD channels that both are uh, software term uh, with software termination. Uh, so it also has a 100 base uh, TX port for, for your mobility because you, well, with the, with the CAN and with the Ethernet, you can, you can also take the data coming from the WPMS network and just gateway it to CAN or to Ethernet. And it also has um, uh, memory LDs like other products that really go to, to show the status, like, like similar to how our box does with CAN Ethernet, but also to uh, ADI specific, uh, ADI WMS specific networks, such as I can go. Do a brief uh, description where it has a status like that determines if you're connected to the managers onboard or externally, and then it has an activity like that basically determines like whenever a node connects to the w, the WB mess uh, managers, it will start communicating activity and also an error ability to determine like if there is a fault within the system uh, within the WBMS system, there are fault from one of the nodes or one from the managers itself. And then when they're, uh, it also has, uh, comes pre-installed with uh, ADI's Will, which is the uh, Will software, which is, is another acronym that stands for WBMS Interface Library. And that is the software that you need in order to communicate to the ADI WBS uh, system on chips effectively. So with, uh, so now I can talk about random WBMS, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tell you how, well, how many cells you can monitor up based on certain configurations. So from a, uh, from a sync from only using a single manager, you can uh, have you can you can have to uh, you can have, connect up to twelve nodes with six nodes per each cell, which can be a total of seventy two cells. You also you can have a different configuration in the single manager where you can have 
eight nodes, but each of those nodes had 12 cells, which is a total of 96 cells you can monitor. But you can also put the uh, net, the uh, red BMS, the, uh, the WBMS network in a dual manager configuration where you can have eight nodes, each of them measuring 24 nodes to get 109, to get uh, measuring 24 cells to get 192 total cells, or 24 nodes. To, uh, 24 nodes that each are measuring uh, eight cells simultaneously to get 192 cells again, but also the, the big number where you can have up to uh, 48 node of uh, 48 nodes each uh, each uh, each each node measuring six cells each gives you a total up to 280 total cells. So to some of some use case applications you can uh, you can use with the red WBS from the wireless battery module pack standpoint. And so engineering development uh, from engineering development we use to uh, develop and uh, research development to try to pack in one design for your vehicle. And then it'll, it'll manufa uh, manufacture an assembly, which is uh, during the plan, we can go ahead and test, make sure that the batteries are, uh, the make sure batteries are all hooked up on that when the, the pack is going through the line. And also inventory management, we have to check on the individual cells. Because cell, the battery packs are always, are gonna be running in like a mon monitoring, monitoring in the system. So you can use that to, use red to be missed to walk by with my handheld, walk by to that system, connect to it, and then see what the battery voltages are, see a charge, et cetera. But you also use it, but you also do uh, uh, wireless battery pack configuration as in for vehicle assembly, where you have to what comes to the point where you're setting, you can set in like the unique identifier for that specific vehicle, so or specific MAC address is all the other nodes, well, and also vehicle servicing. For example, if a vehicle comes in and it has some sort of particular issue, you can use the to be mess, hook, 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 hook it up to it, see what, where, which one of the battery packs are bad, and then replace it based off of that from the red view mess. Now I'm going to go through a brief uh, overview of how you can connect uh, you, uh, connect using the external managers or the external uh, the term managers or the external managers of red WMS. So using uh, using internal managers, you have uh, the battery packs up to from one two to uh, 24, uh, 20, uh, 24 or 48 uh, battery packs with the nodes connected to the red WMS via the tool using the dual uh, dual manager network mode. And you can then gateway that data uh, from the WMS network to uh, either to USB Ethernet connected to Vehicle Spy or gateway it to CAN to communicate to, our, to, uh, to another uh, ECU device. But now using, uh, using the external managers, you can do that. It's basically it's the same setup as before with the internal managers, but with the external managers, there's, there's a new device that's in between the battery packs and the red BMS, which is just a, it's a OEM specific uh, ADI WMS manager port that connects via the ISO spy port of the red WBMS. And it, makes it, uh, and it makes it in the same way to, uh, you can have that data go through USB and Ethernet to connect to the other spy, and we'll have a gateway onto CAN talking to it at F30 C if you so wish. And then kind of uh, here I have a display of how that data would look like as far as for uh, for WBMS on vehicle spy, uh, we have like you can get like a determined if like the net that the node is connected to uh, to the managers, uh, what that node MAC address is, what that total voltage is, which is basically since the batteries are in series, you just take all the cell voltages of that battery pack, add them up, and that's your total voltage. You also get this, this your signal strength. The uh, uh, pedestrian dead reckoning, uh, what type of con uh, container sensor it's running, and also what kind of faults it has on the, the uh, what kind of faults that each of the nodes or the manager has on the WBMS network. You also make your data uh, pretty too by uh, using uh, Google Spies graphic panels. You show individual cells uh, using bar graphs to show individual cell voltages uh, using the graphs to display uh, decibels over time. The, uh, the uh, RSSI of the network, and it also like just uh, it's well needed to determine if your node is connected or not. And uh, I, I originally had a plan to show the demo for red, the red WBMS, but the way how I have it set up, I uh, was unfortunately unable to do that. But the demo is running up in our demo section of the, the engineering center lobby. 
well, uh, basically, with, basically with the demo is we have uh, three, uh, three uh, ADI WBMS nodes connected to cell simulators, which is, which is the blue circuit board on the picture here connected up. Uh, and the, the uh, ADI, uh, the green board is the ADI, is the ADI WBMS node that's taking the voltages from the cell simulator and it is transmitting that voltage uh, that voltage data to the red WMS because there's uh, that red WMS is using the internal managers to communicate to the nodes, which is then sending that data to people spy by CAN, by CAN Ethernet and USB. So it's very <laughs> very short, short presentation I have here. Uh, it's pretty much pretty much pretty it's pretty it's pretty simple when it comes to uh, discussing uh, w, ADS WMS compared to BMS as it's just putting that data wirelessly uh, to the managers and it's but it's, it all comes down to just getting the same that same data all the, all the voltages the uh, monitoring values and temperature voltages and all the all the computation data which is state of charge state of power state of health and uh, that's pretty much all I have for you